Hey guys, welcome back to another figure review. Today's review is going to be on Daigeron from Ultraman Dyna. Now, for his history, he appeared in episode 4, where he, in the beginning of the episode, he was seen underground, and he kind of made a little earthquake there. And then, the sewer gets, and a businessman wants to, like, make a city, some city underground there. But the Super Guts team tells this businessman that that Diger, that Daigeron was under there and he should not put too much energy in the ground. But this businessman decided to act like an idiot by not listening to Super Guts. And so he just put so much energy in the in the ground, causing um causing Daigeron to go on berserk and finally awakens in the ground and begins to go on a rampage. And uh, Super Guts came and tried their best to stop Daigeron from his rampage, but they failed and Daigeron kept going on his rampage, but Shinosaka transforms an Ultraman into Ultraman Dyna and saves uh, the businessman and this businesswoman. And, um, his, and he battles Daigeron. But in the in the fight, um, Ultraman Dyer keeps on hitting, kicking on Daigeron's face, but Daigeron opens his mouth and eventually bites on Ultraman Dyer's foot and hurls him up and down until Ultraman Dyer turns into a strong type and eventually uses his his foot to uh, to crush uh, Daigeron's head, but then Daigeron shoots uh, fires. Fire flames at, at Ultraman Dino, but Ultraman Dino pushes them back at, pushes it back at Daigeron, which mainly burns him, and Ultraman Dino then punches him in the face, and then starts to beat the crap out of him, and then swings him around multiple times, and lets go of his tail, and Daigeron dies. Now, he appeared in episode 39, where he will created by the son of a of the guy who created Neosaurus, Clone Silvergon, and Clone Sildron. And Clone Daigeron was supposed was instead a demonstration as was instead a demonstration for a mo another monster which is Zomborg and Zomborg uh, destroys Di Clone Daigeron and that's Daigeron's whole history. Um yeah. He's another one time monster and he is never up. Anyways, on the detail, um I say it's um okay, yes, I mean this black hole is supposed to look tan brown and so uh but if you look closely the uh the eye so here are a bit small here. And these dots right here are supposed to be like his teeth. But band, I just wanted to turn them red. So it's, I say it's okay, I guess. Now for articulation, he uh, has uh, four points. Uh, the arms fully rotate 360, and uh, still do the legs, but you gotta move the arms though. Now for, now there's a goosey on the tail, but if you're lucky enough to break it, then you're lucky. If you're looking at the break it though. Now for sizing, let's compare him with my two other Ultraman Dynamosses. Here's Ragabus. No, Ragabus is way too he's way too short. What about Earthtron? No, he is way too small. Well, he used to be he and Diagram are the same height, so he should be like this big, but no, he's too small. What about Monsauger? Now this works. What about Gomidi? The Ultraman Cosmos. I guess this is okay, I mean... I guess this is okay, but... I run is taller than Gomidi, but... It's okay, I guess. Now for... Golza. This is also accurate, and... To be... If you didn't know, uh, Clone Daigeron's height was 62, so that means he's the same height as Golza. And finally, let's compare with Chaos 
Heter Iblis. Yeah, this is also accurate. Now for rarity, um, I have his, his monster tag here, and here is an image of him and Ultraman Dino. You can even see Ultraman Dino right there. This is his, his uh, name in Japanese, and this tells you his, his height and his weight. He is number 55. And this here tells you what episode he appeared in. And there's another image of Dairon, which is just his face there. Now these these tags here are pretty similar to the Ultraman Cosmos tags. But yeah. But anyways, uh history's brief uh detail well, is uh, okay, um articulation's good, sizing is half good and half off, and rarity is um rare I guess. So in the end I'm gonna give this guy a 9.5 out of 10. I mean it's a really good figure but if you didn't notice he's literally about like the size of my hand. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye.